Greetings, welcome back to Randomtronic. Today I'm going to show you my entry to the flashing light price 2017. When I heard someone, when I read someone tweeting about the flashing light price, I thought that would be quite interesting because what more satisfying could there be than flashing a light bulb? Every system that you try to learn at in the very beginning, the first thing you do is you, you blink an LED and that's the more modern way. But the flashing light price was all about the incandescent bulb and that's what's cool about it. And so I've decided to come up with a system. The competition was open to any way of flashing a light bulb. I think these days we do far too many silicon based systems where, you know, there is some sort of oscillator and, you know, a triple five timer, whatever, you name it. But it's all silicon. Now because an incandescent bulb is an old technology I've decided to go old school on this project and do it without using any silicon whatsoever. The way I've done it, the end project, the final version, is based on four relays, five capacitors and four resistors. And they're five volt relays hence I've got some resistors limiting the current going into them because the whole thing is powered up from 12 volts. Yeah, capacitors delaying the switch on time of each consecutive relay and that's basically it's like a ring oscillator still the same thing as you know made out of silicon I've taken the cases off of the relays so we can see all the moving parts inside of the relays I've got some close-up shots in a moment I'll show you that yeah it makes sound it blinks just over one hertz it's less than one and a half hertz but maybe 1.2 hertz or so judging by the time I was trying to work it out and yeah, there you go. That's my entry for the contest. I can just sit and look at this and listen to the relays clicking. So I've decided to do it slightly differently, but using the same principle. So I've dug out those and those are five volt relays that I've got a, a bag of those. I've even draw up a little schematic and here it is, it's nothing too complex, it's just a bunch of relays and capacitor and resistor for each relay and that's about it. And this should basically oscillate uh, as soon as it, this goes, reaches the last uh, relay it will switch on the light bulb but at the same time it will kill the power to the first one. So as soon as the capacitor discharges it will switch off this one, then this one, then this one then and so on. I almost started making a PCB for the circuit but then I thought it would just look too ordinary so I've decided to build it out of the components in in just air using the, the components as the structure for everything and the relays uh, to make them look a little bit more attractive I've decided to peel them from the outer casing which will expose the moving contacts so this should make them look better and make them sound a little bit better while operating. So I've mounted the capacitor in the vise and what I'm going to do is solder on the relay directly to the capacitor and the capacitor will serve me as a leg, one of the four legs for the whole contraption. Then after cropping and forming the power resistor leads I'm going to attach them from the positive of the capacitor to one of the brushes of the relay, so one of the common terminals on the left. And I'll do that with all four with all four modules. So the modules should look like this. They're starting to look somewhat interesting. Next out of some copper wire I made a bracket like this and I will use this to connect all the negatives of all the four modules like so. So there'll be one on each corner. So I'll just solder them in one by one and this will connect all the modules. And that's how it became just one part, one module. And it can stand on the capacitor legs and it looks unusual. I guess that was the point of this contraption. So let's continue building. Now I have to make connections between the relays. Okay, the connections are made and I've got one for the one terminal for the light bulb itself. Now I just need to connect the negative to the light bulb to form some sort of holder at the top. So I decided to wire up, solder directly to the bulb some copper wire, Sputnik style, and yeah, squeeze that in. 
in the middle and then this should make contact with the center pin on the light bulb and I'll solder that in and we should be able to see if it powers up and blows up that would be interesting and that is complete it looks uh, somewhat unusual okay let's see if it works so power on this is going to be interesting and positive should go here and negative here okay this really clicks in okay something is not properly connected take two I've misconnected the common terminal on the relay okay Okay, three relays are activating, one is not. And that's the one that's supposed to activate the bulb. And after a few small modifications, I am, let me show you what I did. So, first of all, I added a big fat cap in the middle, that's 22,000 microfarad and that's because the when basically when the circuit was operating the last relay was struggling to energize because as soon as it energizes it disconnects itself so it needed a reservoir of energy to basically to perform that last step of disconnecting the power from everything else and this basically this cap exactly does that so after it disconnects everything it has the cap um, to to power up the coil i've wrapped it up in a piece of uh, masking tape because this is a salvage cap like most of those parts and yeah the outer sleeve was damaged so I didn't want this to short to the la one more thing I've changed the light bulb is connected now to the second relay not the last one or the first one not the last one the last relay the one that uh, the last in the chain that cuts off the power sometimes clicks twice and that was causing the light bulb not to blink repetitively that's only on odd occasion but Nonetheless, the double click uh, sometimes caused the light bulb to flash not the way I wanted. So I've connected the positive onto the next relay. So that actually is the first one that engages. So let's apply. That's 12 volts in. Rather ground and that's 12 volts and... Et voila! The bulb is flashing. I am happy with my results. You can hear the noise. All the relays are clicking nicely. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to the judges of the Flashing Light Prize 2017. That is an awesome idea and this was really fun to build without you i wouldn't be making this project so yeah thank you thanks for the opportunity and thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it please do subscribe for more random electronics related stuff for this video that's it take care